tonight. The United States begins its World Cup adventure when it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ghana. They have knocked the U.S. competition the last two go-rounds, both in 2006 and in 2010. So tonight, basically a must-win for the U.S. team. CNN Sports Laura Baldessara is live in Natal, Brazil. Laura, all right, so might this be sweet, sweet redemption for the U.S.? Oh, it most certainly is. This is all about that grudge match. The 2010 World Cup, like you mentioned, the USA was eliminated from the World Cup in the knockout stages by Ghana. So there's a lot of redemption here. Now, none of the players are actually saying that. They're saying they're going in with a clean slate. And the fact of the matter is there's actually only six guys on this roster who were on the U.S. national team roster back in 2010. But either way, all of the fans feel like this is a match that they need to get some redemption out of. And in fact, I just saw a whole group of American fans just walking in. They're going to be here in probably in full force tonight, all in their red, white, and blue, cheering on their team. Brooke, there is, everybody wants a little payback after what happened last time in the World <laughs> Cup. So they want a little payback, and the U.S. coach, who apparently, uh, you know, some time ago wasn't really sure if his team was capable of making it all the way, changing his tune about winning the World Cup. Yes, he did come out and say that it's not a reasonable expectation for the USA to win the World Cup. And you know what? Not the most popular thing to say, but it is a little bit honest. However, most recently in his press conference yesterday, he said that he still is going out there wanting to win. Just like all the 23 guys on this roster, they're playing every game to win. He said that the drive is exactly the same, whether he thinks that it is reasonable or not that they can win the World Cup. They're going in, first it's Ghana, then it's Portugal, then it's Germany. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go out there, win all three of those games. If they do, that would be extremely impressive, especially because the USA is in the toughest group in the entire World Cup. So winning mm -hmm. any of these games would be quite impressive for the USA. Okay, so you say that would be impressive. You've been studying the statistics. I mean, yes, this would be sweet, sweet redemption for America, but prediction time. How is it looking? U.S., Ghana. Oh, no. I'm going to become the most unpopular person, Brooke. <laughs> I'm totally putting you USA on the spot. USA is going, I know, USA is going to lose 2-1 to Ghana. That's my prediction. Ooh. I hope that it doesn't come true, Brooke. I really, really do. But that's what I think. But we'll see. Do you have a prediction? Oh, gosh. I, I hope it's the U.S., but I'll take your word for it. You've been studying up on all of this. 